He's been a TV chef and talk show host, dishing up equal measures of curry and controversy. With a political career spanning four decades, Sir Max Sonderwe is known for a temper as fiery as the food he loves. He's a disciple of the exiled Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat, who was ousted in a military coup 16 months ago. Samak served as Thaksin's deputy in the mid-90s, and like Thaksin, Samak has polarised the nation. Either you like him or you hate him. I think it's very difficult to be neutral. But the same could be said about Thaksin. So you either are for Thaksin or you are against him. Samak has adopted many of Thaksin's social welfare policies, like cheap health care and microloans popular policies in the poorer rural provinces of the north. Victory is victory of the people of Thailand. When somebody stays the coup, it's not quite so good thing. He says his critics are simply jealous of his party's success. But the Democrats, Thailand's opposition party, disagrees. They say they simply wanted a prime minister who could rebuild the country after 16 months of military rule and economic mismanagement. And with Samak facing corruption charges over a fire truck deal when he was Bangkok governor, he could be out of office within months. Thailand is at the stage where we need to build our credibility, not, within, not just within, uh, with the population within the country but certainly with the international community as well. And appointing somebody like Samak as Prime Minister um, is not putting our best foot forward. Samak's critics still associate him with an incident that occurred in Thailand more than 30 years ago. In 1976, during demonstrations at one of the country's leading universities, scores of students were lynched and burned. Samak, here on the right, was accused of supporting the hardline stance. When he was later appointed interior minister, many of the students who fled into the jungle were hunted down and jailed. They had told Thai people who acted as vigilantes that the students were communist. And so there was wholesale rape and lynch lynching and murder of students at, at Tamasat. I think that that's a legacy that you can't really outgrow. But Thais are forgiving even if they can't forget. Samak says his principles have changed, and even his critics agree a government under his leadership is better than military rule. Selena Downs, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.